A luxurious, shimmering fabric made thousands of miles away in China was one of the most valuable imports to Venice and was the money-making catalyst that gave the Silk Road its name. Once there were 30,000 silk workers in Venice, but these days it's a very exclusive business. Oh, look! Bevilacqua. That's where we're going. The Bevilacqua family has been involved with silk for 500 years and today has a client list that includes the Kremlin, the White House, and a plethora of high fashion labels. Buongiorno. 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 Alberto. Please oh, come in. Thank you. A treasure trove. <gasps> Here they specialize in some of the finest, most intricate silk brocades in the world. Look at this. And the family owns a priceless archive of over three and a half thousand patterns that date back to Byzantine times. Alberto, tell me everything about silk. Probably was uh, discovered in China. Yeah. And uh, imported in Europe uh, in the 13th century. They say by Marco, Marco Polo. Polo, yes, yes. When did they make velvet? Who invented that? When did they oh. make it? <laughs> A genius. A genius. <laughs> velvet was produced in Venice from uh, 14th century. Venice was very famous in the Renaissance period yes. for the velvet production and also for all fabrics production. So all merchants came here in Venice to buy the most beautiful fabrics. I read that there were 6,000 looms exactly. in Venice yes, alone. Yes, yes. And we are the only one left no. now. No. Yeah. <gasps> Look at all these different colours moving into there. Bevilacqua's silk brocades are all still made by hand on looms that are hundreds of years old. Incredibly skillful. The way she cuts with this little cutting machine and then she whips one of these metal blades out, feeds it in to the other side and then in just about four shuttles of this. Madalena, is it quite easy to do? Shall I have a go? No. <laughs> oh, no. No, because... You, you need years and years to learn this child. Do you? Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is... It's a kind of mystery, and you think that the world, in the old days, every bit of fabric made was made on looms like this. Gee whiz, respect. From its first appearance in Europe, silk was highly prized. Workshops across Venice laboured day and night to satisfy the fever for silk. In those days, it must have seemed like a gift from heaven. Yeah. But hand looms like these can only produce around 40 centimetres of fabric a day. It's so fine, it's almost unbelievable. How much... How much does it cost? A lot. Yes, around 5,000 euros per metre. This may be an ancient craft. Oh, look at this. But you still have to exit via the very contemporary gift shop. So this is handmade, handmade. What are we talking about? What kind of money are you going to set me back for this gorgeous thing, Madeleine? Yes, about 1,500. I'll take five. <laughs>